Hey everybody, it's uh, Saturday the 8th of, is it the 8th? Yeah, the 8th of April. Um, I'm going to kind of go over a, a royalty interest deal over in uh, Reeves County, Texas, on the Permian slash Delaware Basin. Um, just kind of give you an idea of it. It's on LinkedIn, so I'm assuming it's public. Uh, I don't think I can get in trouble for talking about it since it is public. Okay. Um, first of all, it says PDC Royalty Interest, Reeves County, Texas, Producing Mineral Interest. So I'm going to kind of break it down in this video and explain what I'm looking for and uh, how it all works. This is a bid. You send in bids. I think May 5th is a cutoff. You got to send in a bid. High bid wins it, basically. Okay, so see it on LinkedIn, you click on it, and I don't know if you can see this, but that is, in a nutshell, um, on this particular deal, um, all my consulting in Reeves County in that area, I know exactly where this is, so I went and pulled up all the information on the Railroad Commission. Um, if you don't know how to use the Railroad Commission, I'll try to uh, get a video there for you as well. Um, as you can see, it is this well and this well right here. Okay, so the first thing I do, go up here, click, identify wells. And I've already done this, but I'm just going to kind of do a, a real quick run through go down and get the production and then I always just sling it back and then sling this one forward so you get the full they started production in 2015 uh, 2,000 barrels 16 18 15 12 10,000 7,000 etc etc 33 million cubic feet of gas 41 um, then you go on to the end now on this you can download it and I'm bringing this up because it's very important. Uh, being a horizontal, the decline curves, you can't use a, a PV10 model on these decline curves. Now, on a lot of these deals, some guy is going to use PV10, and he's going to win the bid. But six months later, he's going to be like, shit, I just wasted a bunch of money. Okay. So, horizontal, unless you're able to buy, like, EOG wells where they have free sand and they can just pump it full of sand prop it as they call it uh, do not run PV10 on horizontal wells because you will lose your ass um, this one I'm not even going to try to bid on it because it's somebody's going to pay stupid money so there's no point in wasting a lot of time but in this instance I pull the production, I pull the completion, which is a, a W-2 in the state of Texas. It's the initial potential test. Um, looks something like this. It'll actually pop up. This is the initial potential test. Um, initial potential is 526 barrels a day. Okay. 1,731 MCF a day. Water, 1,200 barrels. Now, some of this may be flow back. You can see it produced 9,800 barrels before the test and, and flow back, what have you. Another important thing is to come down and look. Well, here's the completion. So, they used um, 7 or 8 million pounds of propent sand and then down here this is very important do the producing interval of this well produce h2s with a concentration in excess of 100 parts per million no that's awesome okay the reason that's awesome is because when looking at a deal if it produces h2s they have to have special equipment um, you take a hit on both oil and natural gas as well because they have to have special lines to gather it so that's another hit you have to deal with. So it just notches money out. 
but that is in a nutshell what it is um, on this particular one it is 32 net mineral 32 net minerals um, average daily production after a year you can see it's only 332 barrels so from that 500 and then the other one I think was around 500 combined they're only doing like 300 barrels a day that's why you don't run PV10 on the horizontal uh, average net income is $2,500 a month bids due 5 p.m. central time Thursday May 4th um, but yeah that is basically kind of a, a deal you come across but more than anything um, this is what I do a lot so I kind of make a living is consulting on deals like this but uh, moral of the story there is so much involved in a royalty royalty deal never just jump in unless you know what you're doing because like this all but guaranteed somebody's gonna pay way too much money for it and lose their ass on the deal because they don't know what they're getting um, just the well control alone drilling around it it's it's out in the middle of nowhere really um, there's no high intensity and down spacing which is always a sign if you look here um, wells are here and here and then all this is kind of me not very good but if you go up you can see where it's actually high intensive okay if it was like this it'd probably be doing a lot better but it's not it's over here and that's always a red flag so just a little helpful hopefully hopefully you learned something from it uh, as always my email is in the bottom if you have any questions about it if you're looking at one feel free to Free field will email me about it. And uh, all right, have a good Saturday. <laughs>